In this video, I'm going to show you how to make sure your students complete assignments in Schoology the way that you want them to, in the order that you want them to complete the assignments in. And it starts right now. Help me out by liking, subscribing, and turning notifications on. Okay, so I'm in a Schoology course, and I'm inside the folder, and I want them to complete these folders in a particular order. Okay, now, to do that, we want to go to Options, Student Completion. All right, so here's where I've already been working in it some, so let's just exit those out. And it's blank. This is how it comes up on your screen. Requirements must be completed in sequential order. So that's the order they appear in in your folder. So for me, it would go in that order. Week 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If that's what I wanted them to do. And I would if in this case. And I can add a requirement. But for folders, all you can do in folders is either complete or nothing. That's all you've got. So you can do that. And then again, add, I can go week one, complete, and I could keep doing that for all my folders. Okay, but you can go a step farther. Inside week zero, in order to complete this folder, I can add requirements for them. So again, options, student completion. Like I said, these are what I already have here. So for assignment one, again, you, if you don't have anything there, you can Add a requirement or click the box. Assignment one, I want them to make a submission. But my, I can just have them view the item if I'd like. So if you had a page uh, that had some important information on it, you can make them view the item. Maybe some definitions to read or something like that. Post a comment or a reply. You can actually physically make them type something if you want. Or you can have them make a submission or if it's some sort of practice test you can make them score at least something just know that if it is score at least and you have to grade something by hand they're going to be stuck so you make sure you stay on top of your grading if you're going to put score at least or if it automatically scores something you can put that caveat there so they just automatically are able to advance all right so again, when you're done, it's going to show these little gray things to you and the student so they know exactly what they need to do to complete the folder. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, then the students have to work in your order. I will say this, that sometimes when you're working or when a student's working on a course like this, it may take it a minute to update. So the students might want to make sure they actually read what they need to read because they can't just click on it and then go back out and it says view it. Sometimes it'll work. Sometimes it takes a while. They have to refresh the screen before it finally shows up. Hey, I read the screen or I viewed the screen. So I just wanted you to understand that. Also, uh, if you've made it this far, I also wanted to tell you about a Facebook group that I started. It's in the description uh, down below. It's at Mr. Coach Miller. And what I want, I, I put the YouTube videos there because there is a small audience that would more likely see that on Facebook than they would anything else. But my plan is to get a big enough following that I can start live streaming a few times a week and helping students with their math homework. So it's like math tutoring live streams. If that's something that would be interesting to you or you could tell your students about or, or teachers about, that would be great uh, for me. So just go down in the description, look that up, like the page. That would also help out. Thanks for stopping by. If you need anything else, drop it in the comments or shoot me an email. I appreciate you. Thank you very much.